So same thing. Let's keep doing that, the same thing. So we'll, we'll use our calculator to help us because most of us won't remember. So 5 divided by 6 equals, this is an infinite, right? This one doesn't stop, correct? So we will round to two decimals. So let's write down 0 0.83, okay? And I need to review this. I will review this, right, whether you like it or not, okay? If you have numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? Anything that is, this is kind of like the cutoff. If it's 4 or less, we round down. If it's 5 or greater, you round up. Okay, round up round down okay this is another reminder here how many decimals am i asking you to round to two right so you would always look at you kind of say okay i'm going to cut it right here i'm going to look at the neighbor next to it that's the number that determines whether you're going to round up or down okay so in this case it's a three right it's it's right here so this three does not affect the one before it so you just write down eight three like that okay three over 32 let's try and oh we're not done yet this is where a trick this is where you need to be very careful if you want to turn this into a, a percent you leave this on your calculator like that and you go times a hundred and you write this number down, round it to two decimals. So this is what I mean by that. You will write down 83.33%. Not, not just 83%, it's 83.33%. Because you use this on your calculator to determine the percentage. Okay? Because if you round here and then multiply this by 100 to get a percentage, then it, you round it twice. So you're losing uh, decimal points. Okay? So I will write this down here. A 0 0.833, right? Repeat it. Times 100. That's how I got that. Okay? Based on calculator. based on calculator let's let's try the next one 3 divided by 32 two decimals there would be 0, 0. 0.0 before I write this one down before I write the 9 down which is the second decimal I would look at the third and since this one is a 3 right it's a 3 it doesn't affect the nine, so the nine just stays as a nine, okay? And then to get our percentage, we're gonna take this one, 0 0.09375, we're gonna multiply that by 100 to give us our percentage. And so this is nine point, how do you round here? three seven right this this is where we're going to cut it and so what do we have to the right of it we have a five what does a five do it rounds up so it's going to be nine point three eight percent don't forget that do you find it somewhat puzzling why i do that right like but that's how it's done. That's how you have to do it properly. So let's try one more. 19 divided by 23. How about we do this? Watch what I'm going to do here. 0 
zero, eight. I'm just going to write down a bunch of numbers, okay, that actually show up on your calculator if you type this in. And from here, I'm going to get my decimal, and I'm going to get the percentage out of this number because this is what's on your screen, right? So to get that as a decimal, I need to cut it here. So that would be 0 0.8. What's going to happen to the 2? Up or down? It's going to go up, right? Because it's a 6 here. The 6 tells me that I have to round this guy up before I write it down. So that's your decimal. And then this as a percent, I'm just going to multiply it by 100 on my screen. And it's 82.6. Instead of 0, I need to look at what's next to it. And there's an 8. So it bumps that to a 1. Okay. So this is the decimal. I'll write that down, decimal. And this is percent. And so that's how you have to uh, do this in, in this course. But I always like, I prefer the decimal over the percent. Okay. Okay, this is another thing that I'm going to tell you. A little secret, not really a secret. If you round to four decimals, it's not going to be wrong. If I tell you round to two and you decide four, except for money, money is two always, you will not be wrong unless you round incorrectly. But you can round in more decimal places is acceptable, fewer is not acceptable. Okay, so let's do a couple four decimals here. Seven divided by eight. That one actually stops, so I can just write it down, right? 0 0.875. If I multiply that by 100, I don't even need to worry about rounding. That's 87.5 or 0.50%. Okay. Here, here are a couple mixed numbers. <clears throat> you have to be careful here. Three and a quarter would translate to 3.25. That's three and a quarter, right? So this is actually already, you've written it now as a decimal. This is decimal. So how would you write that as a percent? Well, 3.25, you have to multiply it by 100. Every time you want to get to a percent, you multiply it by 100. So it's 325%, okay? Just don't forget the percent symbol. To get from here to here, we just multiply it by 100. To get from here to here, we just multiply it by 100. Okay? Uh, 17 one eighth. That's 17. How would you write that? 17 whole whole uh, numbers, right? And then the 1 8, you just figure out what 1 8 is. 1 divided by 8. That's 1, 2, 5, right? So it's 17 followed by 1, 2, 5. And make sure the decimal is there, right? So the 1 8 is 0 0.125. So when you combine them, it's 17, 1, 2, 5. This is the decimal. If you multiply that by 100, you guessed it. Oops, 17.5 times 100. What happens to the decimal? It shifts two places. So it's 1,712.5 or 0.50 percent. 24.5. Okay, I'm expecting you to know that it's 0.5 times 100, right? That's 24, 50%.
That's just a simple, like, do you remember how to do this kind of thing? Rounding. Go ahead and try to round these to two decimals on your own. Just see how you do. Just use a pencil before I do it. Let's see how you did. So basically when you round, you're truncating, you're cutting, right? So two decimals is where you want, okay? So that four doesn't affect the eight, so this is just 1798, okay? You wanna cut it right there. The nine will bump that up to 0 0.25, right? The nine bumps the four to a five. Uh, and then here you wanna cut there, 19.4. The four doesn't bump the five, so it just stays five. And then here, you cut there, and this is uh, going to be 201.9, and this 8 will bump to a 9 because you have a 9 on the right, which is 5 or bigger, right? So that's what you get there, 201.99. This one, I cut there. This is going to be a ripple effect scenario because the 8 bumps this to a 10. You just write down the 0, and the one, it bumps this to a two, right? And this stays the same. But basically the 19 went to a 20, right? So that's how you would round that correctly. And then here, ripple effect again, double ripple effects because you have two nines, right? So the six turns this into a 10. Nine and one is 10 again. So eight and one is nine, and then it's five and two. So 259 is what you would round this to if you rounded it correctly, okay? And if there had been a nine here, it would just keep on rippling until you get to a number that isn't nine, right? This one, cut it there. Oh boy, right? The seven, bumps this to as a 10, which will bump this to a 10. I bring the decimal down, it bumps this to a 10, which will bump this one to a 10, which will bump this to a five. So it's, it's the ripple effect scenario, right? The one turns this to a 10, this to a 10, and then finally you're with a five. So it just keeps on riding the wave, I guess, right? Cut it here. The four does not affect the nine. So this is 789.99. That's how you do that correctly. It's so it's so tempting to just say it's like, yeah, it's just gonna be seven, seven ninety, right? But it doesn't because the four is not gonna bump the, that number, okay? How did we do with rounding? We don't like rounding, right? It's always such a pain. It's a sliver, right? It's kind of like you can kind of work with it, but it's always painful, right? So it's uh, it's good to refresh that skill. Okay, let's do this. This is important, right? 3% of 250. You cannot work, I repeat, you cannot work with percentages. You have to turn it into a decimal, okay? So you basically turn this, you go three divided by 100. That's what the percent, think of the two zeros as the two zeros that go with 100, which turned into 0 0.03, right? 3% actually turns into 0 0.03. Just go three divided by 100 and you see for yourself, right? Of is always times, right? So the of symbol is times and then it's 250 and in this case it's dollars right so now you can go 0 0.03 times 250 and that's seven dollars and fifty cents but this is technically you lose one rounding mark there 
Why is that? Because it's money. The province wants you to have two decimals when it's money. Okay? So I just, you will notice that I always put a zero after the first decimal just to make sure I don't forget. And then it's this one. Divide this by 100, you get 0 0.0275. Do not do not drop decimals here. You don't round until the end. So this divided by 100, right, this is basically divided by 100 to get that. And then you go times this number. I like to use brackets sometimes. Are you okay with brackets? This, right, times 25 hundred and fifty so this is just multiplying folks don't let the bracket scare you okay so if you multiply that right you multiply it you get 6876 watch rounding but I know that the three doesn't affect the six so 6876 and it's money right Okay. This one, I would have, for some reason, this one throws off a lot of students. But remember, it's 0.85 divided by 100, whatever, because it's percent, right? So whatever is here divided by 100, and you get a weird-looking number, right? This translates to that, and then I multiply it by 675. And that is 5.7, 7 what? 7, 3 or 7, 4? Ah, it doesn't matter. Half a mark, right? The 7 bumps that to a 4. Right? Oh, I, you can't see it. You can't see it. It's 5.74. Yeah, I know. I know you're getting ready to pack up, and I don't blame you. <laughs> 